Hi guys and welcome to 5 minutes with Mesh where I show you the basics of setting up a quadcopter in 5 minutes or less hopefully. So let's begin. Today's video is going to be covering camera and VTX with and without v without OSD. So let's first talk about OSD. Now OSD is the on-screen display which shows you battery voltage, RSSI and all that kind of crazy good stuff. We'll get into that in a more advanced tutorial later on but for right now we're just going to talk about the connection process. So let's begin. Now most VTXs, this is a very good cheap VTX I love and I still use to this day. Most VTXs take something from 7 volts to 24 volts. So that's something very important to take note of. Cameras, most of them I highly recommend you stick to 5 volts. They all usually just take 5 volts. So just consider it 5 volts. I'll leave a link to this camera below and all good ones that I, I recommend below. So let's begin. <clears throat> now let's start with a flight controller that has an OSD. For example, here's one right here. Now, how do you know it has an OSD? Well, one thing is you will see a writing that says CAM and you'll see something that says VTX or VO and VI, video in and video out. So as you can tell, the pads are right here. We have a VTX and a ground and we have a CAM and a ground. Very simple, right? Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to grab your camera. So we know the camera takes a ground, a five volt, and it has this yellow wire. So this yellow wire will go to the cam, so as you can tell right there. Now, some flight controls don't have that. They have VI, which is video in. So it's either cam or VI. Uh, so that yellow wire would go to cam. And then here we have a ground and we have a five volts. So the ground would go to the black and the five volt would go, uh, the red would go to the five volt right there, thus connecting our camera to this board. Simple, right? Now let's grab our VTX. VTX is a little bit tricky because it doesn't take 5 volts. So depending on the board, this is what you would have to do most of the time on most board. Now if a board has, this is all one flight controller. Now if a board has a 12 volt regulator or a 9 volt regulator, you can power it up through that. But if not, you're going to have to power it off through the battery. And how do you do that? Well, first let's start easy. The yellow wire. Where is gonna where's the yellow wire gonna go? That's the video wire. It'll go to the VTX right there. Usually they're all VTX or VO video out. Because the yellow wire from the cam goes to cam, goes through the on-screen display chip and pops out to your VTX yellow wire, and then this transmit down to your goggles. Very simple. Now powering this guy can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but it's very simple. So let's just see. Here they gave us a ground, so it's okay. We'll ground it here. So we'll put the black wire here and we'll put the yellow wire here for the VTX. Now, where do we power it from? Well, this board does not have anything more than a 5 volt regulator. And if you take a look here, it says 7 to, well it doesn't say here, but it's a 7 to 24 volt VTX. Most of them are like that. If they're not, then you know what you got. Alright, so where would we take the red wire? Where would we give this power from? Well, we can give this power from right there with the battery and that's it. You're good to go. So now everything is working. So you have your camera plugged in here, 5 volt gram cam, VTX in the ground, which is the VTX would be the yellow wire and the black wire would be the ground and the red wire would go here. Very simple. We're done. Just that easy. All right. So let's take one that's a little bit more tricky that has no OSD. Here's an SPF3. This has no OSD. There's no cam and there's no VTX. So how the hell would I power this guy up? Well, very simple. If you watched the previous one, you knew that we powered it up through the plus and minus here. Now, once we do that, this whole rail is actually a 5 volt and a ground now. So what you'd want to do is we can't install the VTX, so we have to get the camera. We put the black wire to the ground and we put the red wire to the plus down here on any of these. It doesn't matter. These are like all connected like this. Just don't bridge them up and down. So you can put them right there. Now we powered up our cam, but we're still left with a yellow wire. So what do we do with this yellow wire? Well, what we have to do is we take that yellow wire and we take this yellow wire and we put them together, uh, solder them together, put heat shrink and you're good to go. Now we need to power this guy up. How would we do that? Well, I highly recommend what you do is you take the black wire, you put it with the ground here and this one, you go ahead and put it to your PDB. So where is the PDB here? All right. So you go to your PDB and then you could find something called VCC, which means battery voltage, or you could put it on the plus right there where your battery is coming in and that would give it power. So the ground would be here. So the black wire for the VTX would be on the ground here. The red wire would be on VCC or the plus of the uh, battery and the video, the two yellow wires of the VTX and the camera would be connected together. These two would be together, soldered together and a little heat shrink 
and that's it. However, now you don't have an on-screen display. So it's very simple. Now let's just, just quickly take a look at another flight controller. So here's a really nice good flight controller. This is an all-in-one flight controller, which means it doesn't need a PDB and it's already built in and it's a very good one. I've used it and it's just awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So this one's a little bit tricky kind of because it's very, very, very tiny. All right. So here we have VO, which means this would be video out and then VI, which means video in. It's right there. Now, it, the, the see, VI, this is it, video in, VO, video out right here. So what happens here? So if we wanted to connect our camera to this board, for example, there's a 5 volt. So we would give the camera 5 volt here. There's a VI, video in. We put the yellow wire here, and then there's a G. We put the black wire here. That's a ground. Now, this one is very nice because this is pretty cool here. So like I mentioned before, the red wire from the other... Uh, flight controller we had to take it all the way from here however here they have a b plus you know but if you're afraid you don't know what a b plus is you know you don't have to put the red wire here this means the battery voltage plus and you can check the specifications if you're afraid and you don't know what the hell this is don't worry just go put your positive right there for your vtx and you're good to go now vo is the video out this would be the yellow wire to your vtx and then ground, always ground it next to your uh, camera. This pr this um, reduces the chances of problems in your video feed. So you could even wrap them together and then solder them in one place. The VTX ground and the camera ground. So it's very simple. So here's video out and video in. So like I said, the camera's yellow wire would go to video in, go through the OSD chip and pop out to the video out, which goes to your VTX, which is right here, right there. And it transmits down to your goggles because this has an OSD. So it's very simple and very easy. That's it. There's there's nothing to it. You know, cam VTX or VI VO and just put power and you're good to go. It should be that simple. There's nothing else. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to let me know. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please consider joining my Patreon. It really supports the channel. Uh, I'm doing awesome giveaways from Patreons. I'm designing a new frame, also giving that to the to the Patreon, some of the Patreons. And um, yeah, it'll do great for the channel. You can also use the affiliate links down below. Those would greatly support the channel. And uh, if you're curious what to get, this is a very good VTX. I'll leave them. I'll leave the recommended parts down in the link below for budget and some good parts as well that I've tested throughout the channel and throughout the years. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.